Welcome to Christmas Eve. We made it, you guys. Christmas is tomorrow. It is Sunday morning. I was gonna, again, look at the clock. Y'all remind me, I need to get a new clock. It's a little after eight, like maybe eight, 10 or so. And we need to leave for church probably in about an hour or a little more. We normally leave about 8.30, but we don't have our Bible Ed hour this morning. So yeah, we can leave a little bit later and I took the time to set up my light and everything. I'm feeling very fancy this morning, except that my hair is doing this crazy lady in the woods thing. I kind of am, so I guess it's all right. Well, I hope that things are going well for you. Um, I know a lot of people are sick right now, and I am so sorry. I hope that, um, that you will feel better and will be able to enjoy your Christmas. I just got a message pop up on my phone. Some, it was a message from our church, although this man's not a member of our church, um, that he had, had to go to the hospital. So hopefully they'll resolve whatever it is quickly and he can go home. And I know he's not the only one. So know that uh, people are praying for you if you're not well. Okay, on to eggnog coffee with actual eggnog in it as creamer. That's pretty good. Okay, we're at day 24, day 24 of Missouri Star Quilt Company. I get these open before you leave, and like I said yesterday, I hope I can do some knitting on the way to church. How's the weather where you are? It's going to be okay today. I think we've got some storms coming in tonight and tomorrow. A book, Imagination is the Greatest Gift of All. Look at this. Hillary Doan Sperry. I'm guessing Hillary Doan is maybe Jenny's daughter. The Haunting of Quilter Square. Woo! You see that? Movie stars, lost treasure, and hand quilted secrets are pieced together in a scandal you'll never see coming. Very cool. The Jenny Doan name and Missouri Star Quilt Company are trademarks of and property of the Missouri Star Quilt Company used with permission. This is a work of fiction. Yeah, I think that's probably a relative of Jenny Dunn. Very cool. And a bookmark says, need to relax and recharge your creative batteries. And it's got some suggestions. Read a good book, journal, bake some goodies, make a cup of tea, create something new. I do find that doing something creative is really healthy when I am feeling down that seems to be a fairly good, if not remedy, at least a good, um, a good way to perk up just a little bit to do something creative. Getting some exercise helps too. Just going for a walk. I think it's the sunlight, honestly. 24, and a little bird with a hat. Can you see it? That's better. Okay, last mini skein. There is a full skein for tomorrow. I don't know. Now that I look at it more, I think it, it's less brown and more gray. I'll get a good picture later. Sometimes the light fools me a bit. I didn't bring any knitting to show you about. The only thing I got done was a little work on the hat, which I thought for sure would be done by now. But for some reason, I've had very little knitting time over the last 
few weeks. I don't know what it is about this year in particular, but we are planning as of now to spend a little time at the lake house sometime over the next couple of weeks. And I am looking forward to having not a lot else to do. All right, I've got to go get ready for church and I will hopefully check back in with you before I go to bed tonight. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Christmas Eve afternoon. I think it's two something. And we've got to head back to church in a little while. We have to be there before six. My husband's reading some scripture for the service, so they need him there just a little bit early. And then we are having kind of finger food dinner at church. And I have to bring something. I'm going to take some of my cookies and that kind of thing, but I'm also going to do just a little crescent rolls with, um, little sausage, little cocktail sausages in them. One time we had a, did I, did I say this already? I said this to somebody recently. Uh, we had a conference, not a revival, but like a conference at our church. So there were special things going on each night for like four nights. And we we're supposed to bring finger food, that kind of stuff to share. And I challenged myself to come up with a different crescent roll idea every night. <laughs> I know, I remember two of them. I might remember a third one. One was just sprinkle cinnamon and sugar and roll them up and bake them. Another was, I did two sweet and two savory. I don't remember what the other sweet one was, but, oh, I know what it was. I spread Nutella on them and baked them. That was really good. One was pesto. So I spread pesto on the crescent rolls, rolled them up and baked them. And I think the last one was a pizza one. I think I did a little bit of mozzarella, a couple of slices of pepperoni, and I think it might have served it with a marinara dipping sauce or something. Uh, but it was really fun to challenge myself to do those things. I considered that, but I don't have any of homemade pesto right now. And um, I just didn't want to try to go get other ingredients, and I figured this is pretty easy. So anyway, I've got to do that. What I need to do, though, is open my Christmas Eve cast-on box. This is from Hypnotic Yarn. Yes, Hypnotic Yarn. I think what I'm going to do is shift to a camera over there on the table so you can actually see it as I open it. But yeah, let's crack into this. I need another project, like I need a hole in the head, right? But it's Christmas Eve, and I just want to. It's my knitting. I'll cast on if I want to. Okay, so this is the Christmas Eve cast on box and we will open it together. I had opened it just to kind of see what it was when I first got it, but I didn't look through it at all. This is as far as I got. So it says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Stitchmas. from Cheryl and the hypnotic, hypnotic, hypnotic Yarn Team. Okay, let's see what's in here. Pretty sticker saying thank you. I hope I'm not gonna open this and find that there was stuff I was supposed to do like a month ago. Ooh, nice. Look at this yarn. Isn't that happy? Oh my goodness. What's it called? Christmas Eve cast on in plush sock from Hypnotic Yarn. Very nice. A Christmas Eve cast on badge, pin. See that okay? Oh, what else? The Stitch Marker Progress Keeper with a pom-pom. 
need to open these up so you can see them better, don't I? Maybe later. <gasps> Needle toppers! They're snowmen! Toppers. Let's, I don't think this one will crinkle too much. Famous last words. Yeah, and protects needle tips and secures stitches. Look how cute. And what is this? Christmas Eve cast on. Is that like a, it looks like cookie mix or something. Does it say what it is? What do I do? It doesn't say. But that looks yummy. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks really good. <laughs> Lots of packing material. Oh, there's another one. Look, there's another one. Hmm. Look, so many new coffee mugs this year. And how beautiful. All coordinated. Look. So pretty. Let's see, what am, am I missing? Things with lots of packing. So, oh yeah, I am. I'm glad I dug around a little. Stitch markers. Isn't that sweet? Num oh, and you can mark, I guess, rows or repeats because they've got numbers on them. You could do, you know, repeat one, two, three, four. How cute is that? Did I miss anything else? I don't think so. Well, really pretty. Nicely done, hypnotic yarn. Everybody, it's almost 11 Christmas Eve night. I wanted to take a note and show you that I finished the hat. I haven't cast on a Christmas Eve cast on. We'll see if that happens. But um, I'm gonna edit video and get a shower and get ready for bed. I just wanted to wish you, wish you a very merry Christmas. I'm planning to record tomorrow, but it's gonna Posted lately that they're sick, and I'm so sorry if um, if you're sick this Christmas. I hope that you can rest tonight and you'll be much better tomorrow. So Dana and Sue, I don't know if you're watching, but I'm thinking about you, and I really hope you're feeling better soon. All right, good night, everybody, and hopefully I will see you for Christmas Day.